Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in for this Amaryllis tutorial. How do we get such a nice flower on our plate? Just stay and watch. This huge Amaryllis fault is just massive. About 15 centimeters or 5 inches in all three dimensions. With this fault, conversations at the table are guaranteed. What is your favorite flower? Bird of Paradise? Leave a comment and I will search for the fault or come up with one. For this fault, we are using a white cotton napkin 50 by 15 centimeters. These are the most elegant materials for any faults, by the way. Anyway, do you know there are more than 100 different types of amaryllises here around? Today, we will fault this majesty of flower to bring right onto your table. This is a quite difficult fault. I also make some mistakes and all have been filmed, so no fake. As always, we show the fault in real time, meaning you can fault along, so you can do the fault in easiness without clicking and pausing around. Are you a professional? Skip to the part where I give the stats on this fault. Up on a time in a country in the very north, so remote that only a few know its language. There I was strolling around to search for nothing. In the cold, about minus 14 degrees, I saw a flower standing straight, surrounded by the cold, however protected by glass as thick as my finger. I wanted to pick up and quietly said, should I be broken to wilt? No, I said, I will remember you and fault as beautiful as you are here in nature. Your place is to gleam on the most leveraged table setting there is. So it has been born, the Amaryllis fault. This fault is not only perfect for a napkin, but can be also hold smaller items like snacks, sugar, sticks or sweetener packages as well as you will see later. This makes this fault ideal for buffets as well. For that purpose, I would go for a well ironed and good starched napkin to keep everything in shape. As you have seen, there are some mistakes made already. I recommend you to have an iron and a folding bone. These come very handy when adjusting the fold. So let's clean up the table. We can start folding. We commencing the fold with a flat napkin, good side up. Fold all four corners to the middle. Be precise here. Once you have folded everything in the middle, I highly recommend to crease the edges. Now you fold this square around. There we go. And again you will fold all the edges or all the corners to the middle. Now you fold the napkin into four. As you see here, so you have a small square. Use your fingers to adjust everything. There we go. And then iron it. Give it a quick iron so it stays shaped later on. With your thumb, 
you open up the leaves. With the other hand, just make sure that you keep it in shape. There we go. And then slowly but surely, it's a bit fiddly, you open up the sleeves. There we go. Now the flower blooms. Almost there, it's blooming. There we go. And the flower blooms. Make sure that all the creases are good, that all the uh, that you fortify the edges. I do this with my fingers, making sure that it stands straight. And then you have it. The flower has been born. Very large, very huge. For the professional amongst you, this fold is very time consuming. With practice, you will be able to fold about 50 till 70 in an hour. This is like one a minute. For this fold, I'm using a 50 by 50 centimeters or 20 by 20 inch damask table napkin made from 100% cotton with solid white color. Other materials are unsuited for this fold. The dimensions are five inches or 15 centimeter in all three dimensions therefore it's very huge this vault will fit nicely on a dinner luncheon or gourmet plate due to the nature of this vault you cannot stake or pre-fold them you could prepare till the smaller square as shown earlier however the last part needs to be done at the table on which the amaryllis should be placed. It takes practice to get this fold done in a nicely manner, so therefore take time. However, once you have furnished 20 seats with this luxury fold, you will for sure be amazed how it looks. This concludes our tutorial for this Amaryllis fold. Thank you for watching and as always, if you like this type of content, please consider to subscribe if you want to see more. Stay tuned and bye bye for now.